A lot of times customers come to us and ask us how to automate their testing process. They were looking into doing a Procedure B test versus the Procedure A test. And the Procedure B is really useful to, to uh, make, it does make the testing process easier. The only problem is you need to know what the melt density of your material is. For polypropylene and polypropylene at the virgin material, it's easy, that's given in the ASTM standard, but for everything else, you have to calculate that. You can do that using the MP1200. It's kind of a combination between the Procedure A and Procedure B test. You need to do a several runs in order to get a good average, but once you establish an average number that's consistent, you can use that number as an entered melt density, and then you can run the test automatically and don't have to do cuts. What we'll do is go ahead and, and run a test. We have configured the MP1200 to do the melt density calculation test on it. And basically, it's a procedure A and procedure B test combination. So let's begin the test. We're going to remove the piston and place it in the weight rack or piston or tool rack. We're going to go ahead and press start test on the machine. The machine will give you the charge cylinder now screen and give you an elapsed time. The elapsed time is there so that you, uh, by ASTM standards, you're supposed to uh, load the material, place the piston in the cylinder and apply the weight within 60 seconds. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put the piston back in the cylinder. Position our PPDT, apply the weight, and start the test. You will now go through the typical seven minute plus or minus 30 second preheat time. I need to make a cut on, on of the material, so it's a good thing to practice doing this while you're, while you're waiting for the preheat time when the material's extruding out. What you want to do is use the, the supplied spatula or cutoff tool and make a quick, sharp cut along the top of the die. Like that. What you're doing in this test is, again, it's a combination procedure A and procedure B test. We need to know what the weight or the mass of the piece of material that comes out during the uh, defined piston travel. So you, it's just doing the math so that you know the volume, you know how much material came out, so you can just back calculate the density, and the MP1200 will do that for you. And at the end of the test, it'll display your melt density that it calculated along with your flow rate. Now, again, this is, this is good for if you have a materials that has a um, additive to it, such as a colorant, an impact modifier, a flammability uh, inhibitor, uh, or even reground material. When you uh, run a material once, when you process a material once, it's going to change the melt density in it. So you can't use the number that, uh, that the, of the virgin material that's given in the ASTM standard. You have to calculate the melt density for, and figure out what that is. Again, you're supposed to do it several times, get an average, and then you can enter that average in as an entered melt density, and then you don't have to do cuts. The problem with this is that, as I said, it changes with processing and it changes with additives. So any change in formulation is going to make you do the melt density calculation over. So, and if you have to do it three times, sometimes it takes um, three times as long. But if you get, you're working with a pretty stable or pretty constant uh, formulation of material, you should be able to, to come up with a good average and use that average as a melt density, and that eliminates the need to make the cut. And that helps you to improve your accuracy as long as you're taking out any kind of human interaction with the test.